So if you are getting under the root any negative number, it leads to the imaginary root. Where a comma b belongs to the real number, a is called the real part and b is going to be known as the imaginary part. A squaring on both the side, what you are going to get the value? Imaginary root is root of minus 1, correct? If it is z1 by z2, what you need to do? Multiplying conjugate of a complex number. Hello dear students, a warm welcome to one and all. My name is Vibha, Mathematics Faculty, Temple of Excellence, Pre-University College, Mysuru. So in the last session, we have learned how to finding LCM and HCF of the fractions of the given number by two methods that is factorization method and then division method. Now, in this session, we are going to learn the topic of the different concept which is nothing but complex numbers. So what are all the topics we are going to study in this session? Let us see here. So you are going to study your meaning of the complex number and then you are going to have it as algebra of the complex number that is addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Then you are going to have properties of complex number, commutative property, additive property, identity, inverse, all those you are going to study under this properties of a complex number and then based on those we are going to have a problem solved. Got? So now, I am going to give you how the complex number will be, how it will be came into exist. So here, I am going to take an example. I am going to ask you the question as like, see, if you know already how to find out the quadratic equation roots, isn't it? A quadratic equation will be having how many roots? Two roots. I am going to take a quadratic equation as like, see here. Quadratic equation as like let x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. If I am going to take this quadratic equation, how to find out the roots? You know already this one I can take it to the side which will become x squared will be is equals to 1. Now if I am going to apply, I am going to apply the square root on both the side. I am going to get it as x will be is equal to plus or minus square root of 1. Is it so? What is square root of 1 dear students? It is nothing but 1. So you are going to get it as x will be is equals to either plus 1 or minus 1. Isn't it? Now, I am going to take the same question with a little change of the sign, which is nothing but find the roots of x squared plus 1 equal to 0. What is sign here? Here I have taken a minus sign. Here I have taken a plus sign. That's it. Now, if I am going to take this plus 1 to that side, it will become x squared is equals to minus 1. Isn't it? Now, what is x will be is equal to if I apply the square root? If I apply the square root, I am going to get it as plus or minus square root of negative minus 1. That is a negative number. Dear students, you know already how to find out the square root of a positive numbers. Isn't it? Square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 36, square root of 2, square root of 3, which is nothing but the rational, rational numbers. Isn't it? All positive numbers you are going to have it as. Now here, I am getting under the root negative number. So, if you are getting under the root any negative number, it leads to the imaginary root, okay? So, it leads to what? Imaginary root. That imaginary root will come under complex number, got? So, what do you mean by the complex number then? That means what are all the negative other real root you are going to get it as? This minus 1 is a real number, but under root of minus 1 is what? It is an imaginary number. So, you are going to have it as what is minus root 2, what is root 2 of minus 3, all those things are nothing but imaginary root. Got? So now let us know what you mean by the complex number. So this I am going to name it as imaginary root. Imaginary root which will come under complex number. Got? 
Now we are moving on to the definition of a complex number. So what do you mean by the complex number? A complex number, we are going to write it as is of the form A plus IB. So I is present here. I already told you I is nothing but it is a imaginary root. So A and B belongs to which real number? That's what I have written here where A comma B belongs to real number and then the set of all what is that this r is nothing but it is a set of all real numbers real numbers includes everything what are all the real what is real number means natural number whole number plus rational number plus irrational number all that together we are going to call it as what a real number so a and b can take any of those values are you getting a can take what is that a can take positive number either 0 1 2 or 2 point 0.5 uh, or 3.7 any number it can take or it can take the negative number minus 1 minus 2.1 fractions also it can take okay so b also can take any of these b also can take any of these okay so that a and b belongs to real numbers so what is the i there i is nothing but root of minus 1 this root of minus 1 is nothing but imaginary root so that here i've explained you that root of minus 1 is nothing but imaginary root here i takes you the value of root of minus 1 got so is called as a complex number so therefore the complex number is denoted by the letter z you are going to have it as z is equal to a plus ib this is going to be known as a complex number where a comma b belongs to real numbers ma'am what are all the examples we can take for the complex number here i have taken you can take it as 1 plus 6i what is 1 plus 6i here a plus ib a plus ib or a plus bi both are same i into b b into i got so here we are going to have a plus ib a plus ib a takes the value 1 and b takes the value 6 here a takes the value root 3 and b takes the value 5 here a takes the value 1 b takes the value minus minus 5 correct minus 5 b will be sorry minus 2 are you getting etc you can give so many complex number i can take it as root 3 minus i correct what will be the a value a will be is equals to root 3 and b will be is equals to minus 1 whatever you are having coefficient of i that is a b okay so here what is a is going to be known as what is b is going to be known as a is going to be known as real part of a complex number since i is present behind b b is going to be known as imaginary part of a complex number so once again i'm going to explain you if z is equal to a plus ib is a complex number where a comma b belongs to the real number a is called the real part and b is going to be known as the imaginary part got it so next let us move on to what do you mean by the what is that algebra of a complex number as i told you here i have taken algebra of a complex number is addition subtraction multiplication division conjugate of a complex number all these will come under algebra of a complex number now here we'll be moving on to first addition and then subtraction of a complex number so here for the addition how you require two number it will give you addition of another number isn't it if you add only two number it will give you other number similarly if you add any two complex number it will give you another complex number similarly if you subtract any two complex number it will give you another complex number so what i am going to take in general complex number means you know already complex number is z is equals to what is that complex number is z is equals to a plus ib isn't it so here i am going to take let z1 is equals to 
a plus i b z2 is equal to c plus i d b any two complex number okay any two complex numbers then then z1 plus z2 it is written as a plus i b plus c plus i d z1 plus z2 so what we will give you the complex number you are going to add real part to the real part imaginary part to the imaginary part what is a real part here a is a real part what is a real part here c is a real part so a plus c again what is a imaginary part in z1 b what is a imaginary part in z2 d you are going to add that to by taking common i so it will give you the complex number this one see a plus c plus i into b plus d so again here i am going to write as it is this is in the form of x plus this is in the form of y i as it is y is it look like x plus i y which is in the form of a plus i b again this is a complex number therefore you have to understand that addition of any two complex number give you again a complex number got so again i am going to take here z1 minus z2 which is subtraction so subtraction of what real part to the real part imaginary part to the imaginary part i am going to subtract so here if i am going to subtract i am going to get it as what a plus into minus is minus a minus c real part of z1 real part of z2 again you are going to have plus i into b plus into minus is minus minus d so this is again in the form of you can observe if i am going to take take this assume this one as x plus i if i am going to assume this one as y again this is a complex number so subtraction of a two complex number is also a complex number understood now here i have taken some example what are the example if z1 is equal to 4 plus 5i and z2 is equal to 1 plus 7i what is z1 plus z2 real part to real part 4 plus 1 is nothing but 5 5i plus 2i so 7i is nothing but 12i is it so easy so therefore this is again a complex number same if i take it as subtraction so subtraction means what z1 minus z2 what is that z1 minus z2 so which will become 4 plus 5i Minus. Open the bracket when you get it as minus sign. Here I am going to close again. Five i minus one plus seven i. So what I am going to do? Four minus one. Correct. Plus here you can take it as what? I into five minus seven, which will be giving you four minus one is three. Plus i into five minus seven is minus two. Which will be giving you the complex number three minus into plus is nothing but minus i two or two i, which is again a complex number c. Is that so easier? Correct. So therefore, any two complex number is given like this operation. You are going to do to get again a complex number. Similarly for subtraction. Understood? Next, let us move on to multiplication of a complex number. A uh, multiplication of a complex number again. He has taken what? Let z1 is equal to a plus i b and z2 is equal to c plus i d are any two complex number. Then what you are going to have? Z1 into z2. Correct. Here you cannot multiply real part to real part, imaginary part to imaginary part. You are going to multiply each for everything. Real part of z1 with both real and imaginary part of z2. Again, imaginary part of z1 to both real and imaginary part of z2. Right. That is what the procedure says by basic mathematics. So here you are going to have it as C. I have taken this is Z1 into Z2. So I am going to multiply A into C. Correct. Here I am going to take it as C. Z1 into Z2 will be is equal to A plus I B into C plus I D. So if I am going to take it as C, first I am going to multiply A with both. Real part and imaginary part of Z two. So what it will become? So A into C, A into C. Correct. Again plus 
plus i as it is a into d a into d again you are going to have imaginary part of z1 with both real and imaginary part of z2 so you are going to have it as c plus is there plus i b c i b c again plus here i dot i i dot i it will become i squared i squared b d b d got this is your getting so now you are going to have it as c a c as it is now from these two i can take it as i common i into a d plus b c now plus what is i squared see dear students you know already i will be having root of minus 1 squaring on both the side what you are going to get the value imaginary root is root of minus 1 correct which is nothing but the i if you squaring on both the side you are going to get it as what i squared will be is equal to root root will go you are going to remain with minus 1 so i squared value you are going to get minus 1 Remember this dear student. This is very important. Now here I squared value is nothing but minus 1. So I am going to write it as minus BD. So plus into minus is minus. So this is again a real number. So real with real it will be written as one side. That is AC minus BD plus I into AD plus BC. Is that so easy dear students? That's what I have written here. AC minus BD plus I into AD plus BC. Now here let me take example. So what is that? Let 2 plus 3i multiply with 4 plus 3i. So if I am going to multiply this what I am going to get it as? AC. If you cannot remember this formula multiply 2 with both number multiply 3i with both the number that's it let me do a same procedure and we let let me check out whether we'll be getting the same answer or not so here what it will be 2 into 4 so 2 into 4 plus 2 into 3i correct plus uh, 4 into 3i or 3i into 4 plus 3i into 3i. So therefore you are going to get 2 4s are 8 plus 2 3s are 6i. Correct? Again plus 4 3s are 12i. Again 3i into 3i. 3 3s are 9. i dot i is i squared. So 9i squared. Right? So what you are going to have? 8, you are going to have 9 i squared. What is i squared value? i squared value is minus 1. So substitute that. What you are going to have? See 8, 6 i plus 12 i. 12 i plus 6 i is 18 i. I am going to write that here. 18 i. So you are going to have 9 i squared. i squared value is minus 1. 8 minus plus into minus is minus 9. So, 8 minus 9 gives you what? Minus 1. So, the answer will be minus 1 plus 18i. See dear students, same answer we are getting. Minus 1 plus 18i. Is that so easy multiplication? Without remembering the formula of this part, you can multiply if any two complex number is given. Right? Next, let us move on to a conjugate of a complex number. This is very, very important. They are going to ask it for a one marker. Okay. Even multiplication also in an algebra of a complex number, any one, either addition or subtraction or multiplication, division, conjugate, any one, they can ask it for one marker question. Got? So here, what do you mean by conjugate of a complex number? Here, I am going to take it as, let z is equal to a plus ib. What is a plus ib? a plus ib is a complex number. Then, conjugate, you are going to write it as, wherever you are having, here is your plus ib is there, na? there it will become minus ib. That's it. See? Minus ib. Suppose, if I am going to take it as 3 plus i, what is the conjugate of this? 3 minus i. Okay, what is a conjugate is denoted by? Conjugate is denoted by z bar you are going to get conjugate and it is denoted by z bar. 
got so if z is equal to a plus ib is a complex number z bar is equal to a minus ib is a conjugate of a complex number that's it this is an example you can take it as here i have taken it as two example if 2 plus 3i is a complex number what is a conjugate 2 minus 3i that is denoted by z bar similarly if z is equal to minus 5 plus 4i is a complex number what is a z bar Remember dear student, don't change this minus sign. This will remain as it is. Real part of a complex number in a conjugate remains as it is. What it will change? Imaginary part will change. If imaginary part, if you are having minus sign, the conjugate of an imaginary part will change it to plus sign. If you are having imaginary part of a complex number is plus sign, minus sign, it will change it to plus plus to minus which part imaginary part so here minus 5 as it is what it will change plus 4i will become minus 4i that is a conjugate of a complex number let me take another example if z is equal to minus 1 uh, minus 3i is a complex number what is z bar z bar will be real part remains as it is so you are going to have minus 1 as it is minus 3i will become plus 3i this is what your z bar you understood next let us move on to what do you mean by division of a complex number See so here let z1 is equal to a plus ib in general and z2 is equal to c plus id be two complex number then z1 by z2 is a plus ib divided by c plus id how this can be written in the form of division let me do this problem see what is that or solution z1 by z2 is equal to a plus ib divided by c plus id how to solve this now what is it divided by your having c plus id what is this conjugate if c plus id is a complex number conjugate will be c minus id multiply conjugate numerator as well as denominator so what it will become c minus id divided by c minus id right now it will become a plus ib into c minus id c plus id into c minus id correct so multiply above a into c a into c minus because plus into minus is minus you are going to have it as so it will become minus i a d Again, IB with C and minus ID. So, IB plus IBC. Again, plus into minus is minus. See here, dear students, I dot I, which is I squared, BD, BD. Now, dear students, if you observe the denominator in the form of A plus B into A minus B, I am going to write it as like this. A plus, that is X plus Y into X minus Y is nothing but x squared minus y squared isn't it now we are going to have it as a in place of x you are having c plus id into c minus id what it will become x squared is c squared minus y squared is id whole squared is it so we are going to substitute that same c squared minus id whole square now what this will become so this will become which will be is equals to c ac i am going to write as it is minus iad ibc so first i am going to take it as positive i to the outside because i is common in both plus i into positive sign of bc minus ad now what this will become i squared value is what i squared value is minus 1 so now I'm going to substitute here minus into minus it will become what plus so plus BD divided by observe dear students carefully C squared minus I squared D squared again here I squared value is minus 1 substitute so what you are going to get it as you are going to get it as AC I'm going to take this BD to this side is a real number AC plus BD plus i into what is that ad plus bc minus ad bc minus ad divided by c squared minus c squared minus c i squared value is minus one minus into minus is plus so plus 
d squared correct because id whole squared is i squared into d squared i squared value is minus 1 since you are having minus sign here minus into minus it will become plus so therefore how to write in the form of a complex number see here ac plus bd divided by c squared plus d squared plus i into bc minus ad divided by c squared plus d squared is it look like the whole term this one will be x and this whole term is y so it is in the form of x plus i y correct again a complex number so if you do division of any two complex number division of any two complex number again it will be giving you a complex number you can remember the formula ac plus bd divided by c squared plus d squared plus i into bc minus ad divided by c squared plus d squared that is a division of two complex number understood if you do not remember you can follow the procedure by multiplying the conjugate of a complex number that is dividing and multiplying isn't it next let us move on to now here they have given reduce the given complex number in the form of a plus ib now is it look like z1 by z2 where a value will be equal to 1 a plus i b b value is coefficient of i is 1 again here denominator a value is 1 b value is coefficient of i which is minus 1 so again this look like z1 by z2 if it is z1 by z2 what you need to do multiplying conjugate of a complex number now i am writing here conjugate of denominator is what conjugate 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 of 1 minus i is equal to 1 plus i so therefore you are going to take it as 1 plus i 1 minus i multiply by 1 plus i divided by 1 plus i now what this will become numerator you are going to have 1 plus i into 1 plus i is 1 plus i whole squared so 1 plus i whole squared divided by denominator in the form of a plus b a plus b into a minus b what is a plus b into a minus b a squared minus b squared so therefore i can have it as a squared minus b squared right so which will be is equal to expand this one squared plus i squared a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b correct where a replaces 1 b replaces i divided by 1 squared is 1 minus what is i squared minus 1 so here i am writing i squared is equal to minus 1 so therefore minus 1 what it will become 1 squared as it is i squared is minus 1 1 squared is 1 minus i squared is minus 1 because plus into minus is minus 2 into i 2 into 1 is 2 into i is 2i divided by 1 plus 1 minus into minus is plus 1 plus 1 now numerator my plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled you are going to remain with the value 2i divided by 2 2 2 will get cancelled you are going to remain with i this is answer no what they have asked they have asked in the form of a plus i b now how to reduce to the form of a plus i b very easy you are having already i a value you do not have you do not have is 0 will be the a value correct so you are going to write that one as what you are going to write that one as i can be written as 0 plus i right what is 0 plus i? i itself because they have asked you to reduce in the form of a plus i b. We have asked, we have reduced in the form of a plus i b which is in the form of, which is in the form of, which is in the form of a plus i b where, where a will be is equal to 0, b will be is equal to coefficient of i which is 1 correct that's it this will be asked for two marker okay next let us move on to uh, properties of a complex number so what do you mean by identity property identity means there will be additive there will be multiplicative addition of 
any number with the zero gives you the same number isn't it multiplication of any number with the one gives you the same number here also same thing addition of any complex number along with the zero gives you the complex number that is called additive property that is z plus zero is equal to zero plus z which will be giving you again z for all z not equal to zero z should not be equal to zero which is again a complex number that is a plus z is equal to a plus ib is a complex number a plus ib plus zero is equal to zero plus a plus ib gives you a plus ib only which is again a complex number that's it that complex number must not be zero that is additive got again what is multiplicative multiplicative is nothing but see you are going to have one plus zero i is the multiplicative identity of one into z is equal to z into one will be is equal to z if you multiply along with the one gives you the same complex number that will be a multiplicative identity here. 1 plus 0 i is a multiplicative identity of what is that? 1 into z is equal to z into 1 which will be is equals to z. Understood? So next let us move on to inverse. So for every complex number z, there exists a inverse. Inverse means minus z. What do you mean by inverse? If you add a complex number along with a negative complex number, you should get 0. That is nothing but the inverse of a complex number. Here same I have taken see z along with the minus z gives you what? The zero value isn't it? Zero value or minus z plus z gives you zero value. So minus z is known as the inverse of z. That's it here. Minus z is the additive inverse of z. What we are calling? We are adding that. Adding means additive inverse. Multiplicating means multiplicative inverse. Understood? In the identity also. Adding means additive identity. Multiplicative means multiplicative identity. So, next you are going to have what is that? In the inverse, additive inverse, multiplicative inverse. So, what is the multiplicative inverse? You should get 1. 1 is the multiplicative inverse. So, what you need to do? Reciprocal. That's what I have taken. See, z into 1 by z or 1 by z into z gives you what? 1. Z, z will get cancelled, isn't it? It will gives you 1, right? So, therefore, here, see, for every complex number z except 0. Why? 1 by 0 gives you undefined, right? So, except 0, you are going to have some, what is that? There exists some 1 by z belonging to what? A set of complex numbers such that z into 1 by z or 1 by z into z will be is equal to 1. 1 is the multiplicative identity. Got? So, here multiplicative inverse. So, 1 by z is called multiplicative inverse of z. Got. Next, we'll be moving on to a commutative property. What is commutative property? A plus B must be is equal to B plus A. Here, what I have taken? Two complex number because, because we are dealing with the complex numbers here. So, anywhere you go, a complex number for the property also for algebra of a complex number also, right? So, here I have taken Z1 plus Z2 is equal to Z2 plus A plus B is equal to B plus A. Both. Correct? What is that? You are going to have 1 plus i plus 2 plus i gives you 2 plus i plus 1 plus i. This is z1 plus z2 gives you z2 plus z1. That's it. So next will be in under commutative, this is addition of a commutative. What is the multiplication? Z1 dot Z2 gives you Z1 into Z2 into Z1. That is a same problem you can take it as 1 plus i into 2 plus i is equal to 2 plus i into 1 plus i. Please multiply and you can check this. It will be giving you again the same answer. Z1 into Z2 is equal to Z2 into Z1 under 
multiplication of a commutative. Next, we'll be moving on to left distributive property. For every complex numbers, what, they have, uh, what I have taken? Z1, Z2, Z3. Distributive property is A into B plus C gives you A, B plus A, C. That is called distributive property, isn't it? So, here I have taken one is the left distributive, another one is a right distributive. Left distributive, what I have taken? Z1 will be coming first and open the bracket. Z2 plus Z3, which will be is equal to Z1 into Z2 plus Z1 into Z3. Like that you can write similarly. Write a distributive property means Z1 plus Z2 in the bracket into Z3 will be outside. Which will give you Z1 into Z3, Z2 into Z3 plus Z2 into Z3. That is a write a distributive property. Okay. These are all the properties. By giving an example, they ask you to prove either like this. Okay. If Z1 is equal to 1 plus i, Z2 is equal to 2 plus i, not particularly this, any other complex number and ask you to prove that what? Commutative property, prove that left distributive property, prove right distributive property. You have to remember this formulas to prove that. Got? Are you getting this? Okay. So next let us move on to what do you mean by modulus of a complex number. This they are going to ask it for one or two marker. So modulus of a complex number is defined as like this. If z is equal to a plus ib is a complex number. Okay. Then we are going to have it as mod z will be is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared is going to be known as the modulus of a complex number. Now, for example, ma'am, here I am going to take it as z is equal to 3 plus i or 3 plus, okay, if I am going to take it as like this, a is equal to what? a is equal to 3 and b is equals to 1, correct? Now, what is mod z? Mod z will be is equal to this square root of a squared plus b squared, which will be square root of, what is a squared? 3 squared plus 1 squared which will be giving you square root of 3 squared is 9 plus 1 squared is 1 which is root 10. That is your answer. Mod z. Suppose if I take another example see if I am going to have it as if z is equals to minus 1 minus i then what is mod z? Mod z. What is a value? a value is minus 1 and b value is also minus 1. So what it will become mod z will be is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared gives you square root of minus 1 whole squared plus minus 1 whole squared which will be square root of minus 1 whole squared is 1 plus minus 1 whole squared is 1 which will be giving you the value root 2. That's it. Understood? This is a modulus of a complex number. You have to, what is it, identify what is A and what is B, that's it. Coefficient of I is always B. This you will identify, this, don't get confused and don't take along with I. Coefficient of I, whatever you are having the value, it is uh, what successor or behind that value, it will be what? The value of B, imaginary part, okay. So next will be what? What is that? Here, equality of a complex number. Equality of a complex number is defined as what? If A plus IB and C plus ID are two complex number to make it as equal. So when we are going to say these two complex number are equal means whenever real part equal to the real part, imaginary part equal to the imaginary part. What is the real part here? A. What is the real part here? C. If and only if A is equal to C, imaginary part here B, imaginary part, imaginary part here D, if and only if A is equal to C and B is equal to D, understood? So here example have taken, if A plus I B is 4 plus 3 I, A is equal to what? 4, B is equal to 3 and A plus I B is equal to 0 plus 0 I, A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. This is a, what is that? Real part and then imaginary part. Now, when they are said to be a equal, equal means they are going to ask you the question like this. Find the value of, find the value of x and y, x and y if 4x plus iy is equal to 3 plus 5y. So, this is also what? 
This is also complex number, which is in the form of A plus IB. This is also A plus IB. When they are equal, equal means real part will be real. Imaginary part will be imaginary. What is the real part here? 4X. Real part here, 3. 4x is equals to 3 and imaginary part is y, y is equal to 5. So, x will be is equal to 3 by 4 and y will be is equal to 5. That's it. Is it so easy? So, by taking this complex number equality, we are going to find the values of x and b or x and y or a and b. In place of x, they can take it as a. In place of y, they can take it as b. Got it? So next we'll be moving on to our properties of a complex number. Ma'am, there also we have explained a property here. Some more property which is nothing but the closure property and then associative property. What is that? Let's say C be the set of all complex number. Then for every complex number Z1 and Z2, Z1 plus Z2 belongs to the set of complex number also z1 comma z2 is a set of all complex number addition you are going to take it as that will be a closure property of a complex number what is the associative a plus b plus c with the bracket of b plus c will be is equal to a plus b of a bracket plus c that is a additive associative multiplicative also same with the into isn't it so here i have taken three complex number to define what is that? Additive associativity, multiplicative associativity. Uh, my additive associativity is Z1 as it is plus open the bracket Z1, Z2 plus Z3 will be equal to again Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. If you add any three number, what is that? 1 plus here yeah, 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. Isn't it? So instead of real numbers, I have taken here a complex number. Got so similarly with the multiplicative, same example, 1 into 2 into 3 will be giving you 1 into 2 into 3, correct? So here I have taken a multiplicative of a complex number of associative property, understood? They will be asking you any three complex, complex number will be given and they are going to ask you prove this property. Identities are for every complex number Z, 0 plus 0 i is the additive identity. What is 0 plus 0 i? It is 0 and again that 0 is again a complex number because 0 must be also a complex number when you take complex number. So 0, 0 means it is a real number. How we are going to write it as a complex number? 0 plus 0 i. This is in the form of A plus i b, right? Where A value also 0, B value also 0. Got? That's what I have taken here. Got? So next we'll be moving on to what? Write the real and the imaginary parts of the following complex numbers. What is the real and imaginary part? A plus IB, which is in the form of A plus IB or BI, right? What is the coefficient of I? 5. So A will be is equals to 3, B will be is equals to 5, that's it. So see here also A plus IB, A plus IB. What is A? A is 0 and B is nothing but 3, coefficient of I. Again here, A plus IB. Now what is A? 6, I is not there, only 6. 6 is there means it will go to real part. I is present means it will come to the imaginary part. So A will be is equal to 6 and B will be is equal to 0. Ma'am, how to write this one? This is nothing but 6 plus 0 into I, which is 6. This one, 3I plus 0 or correct, 0 plus 3I, which is 3I again, right? That's how you are going to write it as a complex number and finding the real and the imaginary part which will be asked for a one marker. Let me take one more example. Find the real and imaginary part of minus 1 plus i. What is that? A will be is equal to minus 1. B will be is equal to 1. Correct. Similarly, I can ask you 1 by 2 plus i by 4. What is a? A 1 by 2. What is B? Coefficient of I, which is 1 by 4. Right? So, this is how we are going to find out real part and the imaginary part of a complex number. One more example. Root 3 plus I. What is A value? A is root 3 and B is my, sorry, plus 1. Correct? Because coefficient of I. If it is root 3 minus 1, 
d will be is equal to minus 1. Isn't it? So next let us move on to express the following in the form of what? a plus i b. What they have given? If z1 is equal to 2 plus 3i, z2 is equal to 1 minus i, find z1 plus z2. After finding z1 plus z2, gives you what? A complex number. So here again finding z1 minus z2 gives you also a complex number which is a subtraction. Isn't it? So here let me do first z1 plus z2 and then again express in the form of a plus ib. Finding a value, finding b value. That's it. So here you are going to have it as z1 plus z2 will be is equal to 2 plus 3i z1 Again, z2 is 1 minus plus 1 minus i. What it will be? Real part with real part. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3i minus i. What is 3i minus i? 2i. So, plus 2i. Which is in the form of a plus i b. Is it so? a value is 3. b value is 2. That's it. So, next we will be finding z1 minus z2. z1 minus z2 will be is equal to what? 3 plus 2i minus open the bracket because minus sign is there minus z2 is what 1 minus i 1 minus i so which will be is equal to again you are going to multiply with minus sign 3 plus 2i as it is minus into plus is minus 1 minus into minus is plus i what happens 3 minus 1 is 2 2i plus i is 3i 3i which is in the form of a plus i b Correct. A value is 2. B value is 3. That's it. Let's just move on to the next question. If Z is equal to 2 plus 3i, find Z plus Z bar and Z minus Z bar. What is Z bar? Conjugate of a complex number. Isn't it? First, let me write this conjugate. Given, given, Z is equal to 2 plus 3i. What is Z bar? Z bar will be is equal to 2 minus 3i. What they have asked you to find out? Find z plus z bar which will be is equal to 2 plus 3i z bar is plus plus 2 minus 3i. Now what happens here? 3i, 3i will go. 2 plus 2 will be 4. If they ask you to represent in the form of here they have asked find z plus z bar. Isn't it? If they ask you to represent in the form of a plus ib what are you going to write? This is extra, okay? So, I express in the form of, express in the form of A plus IB means what? 4 can be written as 4 plus 0i. Isn't it so? A plus IB. So, now let's find out next what they have asked. Z minus Z bar. Z minus Z bar will be is equal to what? 2 plus 3i, open the bracket, minus sign is there, 2 minus 3i, multiply with the minus sign, 2 plus 3i, minus 2, minus into minus plus 3i, what it will become? So you can open the bracket here, minus 2 plus 2 will get cancelled, 3i plus 3i is 6i, is it so? So 6i, if it is written in the form of a plus ib, 0 plus 6i, isn't it? So that's it. Next let us move on to evaluate 7 plus 3i by 52. If evaluate means what? You should reduce to the form of a plus ib. That's it. Wherever it will give you the complex number evaluate means you should always reduce to the form of what? a plus ib. Otherwise they will be given like this. Find this one. Got? So evaluate means easy it is. Segregate 7 by 52. Correct? Otherwise I am going to take like this. Let z is equal to 7 plus 3i divided by 52. So you can write it as 7 by 52 plus 3i by 52 which is in the form of a plus ib. What is a? a is 7 by 52. b is 3 by 52. That's it. One marker question. We'll move on to next. Evaluate 1 plus i 4 minus 3i 1 minus i. 
whatever you multiply the complex number it will give you again a complex number a plus iv so here i am going to rearrange what is that you know already 1 plus i 1 minus i a plus b a minus b what is a squared minus b squared make it as easy so let i am going to call it as let z is equal to 1 plus i into 1 minus i into 4 minus 3i whatever you write multiplication will be the same thing so you are going to have 1 plus i into 1 minus i is a squared minus b squared a value is 1 b value is i so into 4 minus 3i so it will be 1 squared is 1 minus i squared is minus 1 4 minus 3i so which will be is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1 into 4 minus 3i so 1 plus 1 is what 2 so which will be 2 into 4 minus 3i so 2 into 4 is 8 2 into 4 is 8 2 3s are 6i correct which is in the form of what a plus i b right so a will be 8 and b will be minus 6 is that so easy dear students so in this session you have learned complete what a complex number and then how to do the problems on algebra of the complex number and properties of the complex number so thank you dear students hope you understood this session thank you